Hi everyone, today I want to go into detail of what is uh, trading versus what is investing and why is it important to have an uh, asset allocation in terms of trading and investing. So let's define first what is trading. Okay, So in trading, the idea is to buy a certain stock at the entry price and you want to take profit at what we call the exit price. So if you enter over here and the stock goes up to your target price, that will be your take profit, okay? But at the same time, when you do trading, you also need to have what we call a stop loss. So in the event that you're wrong and you're being stopped out, you will know uh, what is the maximum amount of risk you are taking. This is how we, what we call a stop loss price. So in trading, we have what we call a, a risk reward ratio or a, pop, a, a payoff ratio. And how we calculate the payoff ratio is payoff ratio or risk reward ratio is based on okay um, this formula. The formula is your target price, okay, which is what you want to aim for your target price, minus of your entry price. Your entry price is where is the price that you entered, divided by your entry price minus your stop loss price minus your stop loss price that will be the risk you are taking so example the risk over here let's say you are risking a dollar over here and your reward over here is three dollars so from here you will see that your payoff ratio is three is to one this is what we call the payoff ratio for trading at the same time there is what we call a probability uh, when you enter a trade when you are trading you have a probability what is the chance when you enter in this position, what are the chances that it will go to the target price instead of the stop loss price first? That is what we call a probability. So this is what we call a trading. You need to have your entry price, your target price, your exit price, and basically a trade plan. Plan. You want to trade with momentum, and at the same time, you want to be able to exit within a short period of time. That's more for trading. So what about investing? What's the difference between trading and investing? So investing, the idea is not like this, okay? The invest For investing, the idea is more to look for value stocks, okay? The stocks that are under value. So first you need to calculate what is the valuation of a particular stock. So let's say you want to buy uh, uh, Alibaba, okay? And you find that this stock is below a certain price and you're gonna buy the stock right now. Then uh, you have you can calculate the value, and when the price drop below the valuation, it is what we call under value. And when it's under value, the difference between the valuation and the current price right now is what we call the margin of safety. So for investing, the idea is to buy um, under value stock and buy stocks with margin of safety. And in the event that the stock continue to go lower, you may continue to add on more position. Either you use dollar cost averaging or you split it up into a few tranches to buy the certain stock because you, you like the stock and you want to add in more of that position. Okay, So in the event that the market realizes the value and the price eventually go back to the valuation price, that's how you make money from uh, investing okay but why is it so that we need to have a uh, uh, allo allocation it means not everything we go into investing and not everything go into trading is because uh, for investing sometimes the price can remain under value so when the price remain under value you have what we call opportunity cost you may end up holding the stock uh, longer than necessary okay the good thing about this is you can buy cheap stocks and you don't need to monitor it frequently okay for trading on the other hand you need to monitor it more frequently when you enter a stocks you need to put in the stop loss there'll be times when you're correct you know your probability is correct you make money there'll be times you're wrong and you lose money okay but this is more for trading so um knowing the difference between trading and investing then you can decide how much you want to allocate in terms of trading and investing in general okay let's say we look at age okay let's say example your age is uh 30 years old okay 30 years old i would say a guideline for 30 years old will be maybe around um you can if you have time for trading you can put even 70 percent into trading and 30 30 percent into longer term because you have um time to monitor the market your capital is not that big you want to uh, be able to uh, have higher 
uh, velocity of your money. But as you grow older, let's say you're about 50 years old, then you maybe want to put in 50% into trading and 50% into investing. And as you grow older, you want to 60 years old, then you want to do maybe 40% in terms of oh sorry 40 percent in terms of trading and 60 percent in terms of investing so as you grow older you will tend to go longer term as you grow older you do not want to monitor the market so much you just want to uh, add on buy stock good stocks and add on positions for good stocks but it's important not to um, do one exclusively uh, it's important to have a diversification in terms of your portfolio in general uh, for trading, you want to look for high momentum stocks. You want to look for stocks that are in trend right now. You want to look for where the volume is coming right now and trade those stocks. Those stocks that are in trend, those stocks that are, have high volume are likely the stocks that are people are paying attention to it and then their chances of going up is higher. On the other hand, for um, value stocks for investing, you are not looking for the in trend stocks. You are look, not looking for stocks that have uh, Maybe they even have bad news, but at that moment you find that it's undervalued. You want to add on position for this kind of uh, stocks. Okay, so an example of a stock maybe for up trading stock maybe a uh, few months ago would be Tesla. Let's say it's a stock that's high growth. Okay, uh, when the stocks goes up, it's always uh, uh, high momentum. You know, this is an example of a Tesla, and uh, example of a, maybe a. Uh, downtrend stock would be stocks like in Hong Kong, like ten cents, you know, because of the China clampdown and things like that. That's why the price is going up, but it's of value. That means as the price goes down, you feel that in terms of long term horizon, there's still a chance that for ten cents to continue to go up higher, then you want to look for those stocks to buy uh, for investing. Okay, so um, it, today is not. Uh, we don't have enough time to go into detail of how do we scan for stocks. How do we scan for the highest momentum stocks so that we can trade those stocks and get in and out within a short period of time? How do we look for uh, good value stocks? How do we look for companies that are good long term? We don't have enough time to explain this. Um, if you want to find out more, you can. Uh, we will go into detail in the future. Okay, so I hope you have learned something in this training today and see you in the future video. Hi everyone, if you are new to my channel, my name is Colin Xiao, a certified financial technician and a chartered portfolio manager. I also educate people about the stock market. So if you want to find out more about the stock market or what the market is doing right now, do like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you at the next video. Hope you liked the video. If you are interested in finding out more about using the systematic trading system, which I and 5,000 students use to create generational wealth, from trading, click on the first link below to join our live web class to learn more.